Last time on Princess SMP, we were on the hunt for a winter citizen suspected of breaking Aetherian law and guilty of issuing threats towards the kingdom's citizens after his brother's execution. Our search for Aspen left us empty-handed. The search will continue again in the evening, but first we elected to inform the princesses whose kingdoms were involved. We met up and conversed in Princess Annabelle's room, and here's how that discussion played out. That's great. Okay. Uh, hi, Annabelle. Hope you're feeling okay. Um, also, Ira, sorry. Um, so, earlier, um, uh, just start off, you, you guys know Cola. I, I know you know Cola, Ira, uh, Annabelle, you were at the trial for Cola. Um, Cola told me that he was going to do his second job. And Ira, if you remember pre-time skip, uh, or, or I mean, it was five years huh? ago. Uh, <laughs> five years ago, Cola was like, helping to make sure that, you know, nothing was being said about Winter in the sense of violence um, after Loralia had frozen Melody as a precaution, just mm. um, in, in, this, in the easiest way to describe it, he was quote-unquote spying on people to make sure and then he'd also spy for the shits and giggles for his stupid fucking diaries or journals that I'm sure everyone received. Um, he said he was going to do his second job and then went to Elvin and I had gone to Elvin to meet with Lady Karma to grab something for um, Bryn and Cola was there and Cola said he was going to go fishing uh, yeah he did not go fishing he went invisible um, which to my knowledge is a crime in elven or at least within the castle crime. grounds i believe yes so that's that's the best part he went in this went on to castle grounds and then proceeded to rob kaya of the ethereum armor that had been created for her when she i think made trade deals with the netherians for mm -hmm. oh, kidding me. um after seeing it uh, after seeing that, the n notification that he had from a, you know, had Ethereum armor, I asked where he'd got it. He said he found it on the ground. And I told him to put it back. He did not, so I telepathed to him. And he refused to put it back. He kept saying that, um, I, I owe him for the whole thing five years ago, the trial. Um, and pretty much he was saying to let it like, sweep under the rug. Um, Lucario was with me because I had asked Lucario to come because um, he had broken kind of, he, I thought he was stealing from the Nadarians if I'm quite honest, because it was Ethereum mm -hmm. armor and we trade that with, with the Nadarians and so I brought Lucario. Um, and then Lady Karma appeared, um, and Cola was like, oh, we can just sweep under the rug, tell Lucario to go away. I said, I think Lucario is the least of your worries. Uh, Karma got involved, Cola handed it over, uh, left. Then we were discussing on if it was worth arresting because, you know, obviously he had broken a law, but I am not an elven knight. Lucario is not an elven knight and you know you, you yourself Annabelle you are unwell so we weren't too sure on um, what to do but at, we decided that we would arrest Cola and so we arrest Cola we put him in elven prison because um, he had originally went to winter prison and he was in there all of about 10 minutes as we were finishing writing up the report before we heard a warp stone and he, I God save. To, to our knowledge Aspen helped call that warp out the well, most likely surprised. suspect I should have chosen the other I should have we should have pushed for Morgan to execute him we don't need fairness. We need to put the wit. We need to stop having winters going to the fucking nether and breaking the law because it's pissing me off. Um, but 
then I told Cola, I said, come back or I am executing both you and Aspen. Uh, Turning Aspen caused Cola to come back and pretty much Cola was like, Aspen didn't do anything. Then Aspen in, in, in chat very openly said, I did help him. Prove it. So, I said I did break him out something like that. So, um, one could argue that that is a confession. Uh, personally, if I saw that in a court of law, I would say yeah, he is guilty. Uh, because they are they are guilty of so many things. Um, mm -hmm. but so yeah, the other I looked. Cola showed me um his home far away, uh. Because, you know, Cola was my friend. Uh, that's So I, I said, you know, if you don't run away. Because I have Cola's telepath on. So he wasn't going far anyways. Um, he continued to try to convince me to just um, destroy his telepath. And just leave him be. I said, no. He said, why not? I said, I can't. He said, why not? I said, it's my job. He he said, yeah, but who's stopping you? And blah, blah, blah. And I said, you're getting executed. And so we brought him back to Elvin to be executed. And then he asked Karma if he could be executed on the winter docks instead. And so we did. And I also let uh, Cold say goodbye. I offered it to Aspen. I said, you don't have to worry about me arresting you um, if you are to say goodbye, because I'm not a fucking monster. And Aspen did not follow suit, which is not a surprise. Oh, yes. I'm looking for a book and quill. <laughs> Annabelle, I do have all this written down as well, up into the Aspen being suspected of breaking him out of prison. Um, and for clarification on some things, the arrest was for me, um, because after the arrest, well, the arrest was for the suspicion of stealing from an elf or just from somewhere in the elven kingdom we weren't sure where but upon his arrest he had revealed to max that he had stolen from kaya and so that means that invisibility he was on elven castle grounds invisible and stole from the castle which is stealing from the crown um the cost of invisibility in the elven kingdom in the castle let me double check so i say the correct information in the castle would be 10 gold pieces however stealing from the crown results in a trial to be held in the elven kingdom and to my understanding and annabelle can correct me if i'm wrong with a trial being held in the overgreen hall it could ultimately result in execution and with that in mind and him escaping prison it just showed to contribute to his guilt of what he had done and so we had issued the execution order and especially since he was escaping prison which is also against winter law though it was not your prison that he escaped from you know annabelle i do have a prison log completed for his arrests in the elven kingdom um, it goes up into the point of him being broken out of prison. And I can definitely add to it to the end to get all the info written down. So I'm trying to think what other things... Oh, yes. Uh, sorry to interrupt, but Aspen also... Allegedly, uh, went to the nether again. He was taunting me and everything and whispered missiles. Yeah. He also apparently Lucita. mentioned my family from Max's knowledge. And oh, Lucita. Not, not to my knowledge. Yeah, Trent Lucita told me to help Lucario and to let him spend time with his family because he's going to need it. He did not. He did. 
updated, so I'm going to use Kmail. Sorry, sorry. I am tired. Once he mentioned the family, I didn't have any hesitation. If he was in the nether, he was dying. Yeah, we were hoping, or I was hoping originally to ensure we detain him off the assumption that he broke out Cola from prison, and then after the suggestion that he was in the nether is what he had implied, and the threats being issued, I had issued that if they were to find him in the nether, that it was be a slay on slight, a slay on slight order. Understandable. I agree. If he is threatening children and family who have nothing to do with anything he's done, or anything that's being done, I'd say that's warrant more than anything. He was taunting the entire time, no clue where he actually was. I had no clue if he was even in the nether. For all we know, he could have just stayed at his house and been taunting us. And I... then proceeded to go to the fog. Mm. Okay, so uh, Annabelle okay. has written, um, at that point, there is no trial if they escape, so she's glad they are dealt with. Um, so she does approve with the execution on Elven Law Grounds. Um, there is no written law in the Elven Kingdom for someone else breaking someone out of prison, but after what she has heard, she is in support of death, and that is what she pushes for. I have no plans to kill Cold either. I was just pissed because he meant. Oh, I, I will abs. Ira, I look. What did Cold I'm going to be fully transparent. Last time, uh, Aspen was going to be had like the possibility of being. Executed. Cold threatened my life. And while, look, I understand there's not that many people in Winter, and we need as much as we can. I'm going to kill another heir. At this point, I I am not dealing with someone threatening my life. And he said a bunch of the things along the lines. I don't know how much you guys have seen. Just, I was mad at Cold. I've been just angry ever since he Aspen brought up my family. Or like Lucida in general. Mm. Lucida? You said that he threatened Lucario. Lucida. Lucida. So threatened Lucida. Lucida. Well, I wouldn't... I, yeah, Lucida more. I assume he's just wants... Or to my knowledge, he was just Lucida. talking about helping Lucida. with my family. Some bullshit. Lucida. But um, at this point... I don't want him to say anything about my family. I agree with um, Aspen's death, if needed, because he is actually threatening people. Max? Cole threatened me, I'm I think that is let fair. Let me finish. Guys. I'm letting you do what you think is best. <laughs> Look, I don't want to kill As people. Second in command. Second in command, you have to make these choices as well. Wait, did I forget I read it? I do not take kindly to people threatening children and their families. Something needs to be done about them. Also, uh, it's very tyrannical. I, I, to m on all my also your mic opinion, your mic. I would have killed, oh. I would have killed Cold or Cola a lot earlier, but of course it wasn't really in my power to kill someone in another kingdom, let better? alone on their yeah. land. <laughs> okay. But Cola has been dealt with in you know, just the other two. Yeah, we were only aiming to imprison Cola at the reveal of his crimes, since it was the punishment due was a trial at the Evergreen Hall, and it's not something for me to carry out, so I was going to have that process begun, so either Chancellor Kano, or if you were able, capable at the time, to be the one to oversee it. But due to the prison escape, I pushed for the execution. Yeah, if I'm quite honest, I would have done the execution anyways. Broke winter laws. Three strikes are out. Mm. Uh, 
that's why my pig on our thing. Yay. Oh, <laughs> why why am I getting like no snowball? Here. Is this the right one? It is not the right one. That's why I've had the totem on this entire time. I was just flying through the entire nether. I was gappling as a safety precaution. I apologize I for this. I, I, I've been apologizing also. <laughs> So with the threats Are being they... issued, it is it is high alert for the Netherians, um, and I, I depending on the situation, the would suggest for slay on site, but if there is a audience or children present, then I would push for an arrest so they can be executed elsewhere. I agree. However, I will say, while Aspen is the most likely suspect to be the one to have allowed Cola out of prison, because the prison is secure, it's the exception of someone getting in and handing off a means of teleportation. We didn't physically see Aspen do it, except for the confession that he issued within public missives. All we heard was literally just the sound of the waste of mm -hmm. warp stone teleporting. We heard the warp stone, so we went to check. Was gone from the cell. So I'm not sure if the uncertainty of that causes for conflicting interest on if we push for execution or if we give a trial. But with the threats right, being issued to families, to be dealt with cold. Mm -hmm. I don't know what we're doing. What y'all are gonna do with them? The cold necessarily, besides the threat to Captain Max, previously done, at least on the events tonight, I'm not aware of cold doing anything. Mm -hmm. Uh, I have cause. It's because I don't like him. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, realistically speaking, unless cold, you know, poses an actual threat to the kingdom, I'm probably not going to do anything. Mm. Um, Emotionally speaking, I'm not going to be talking to Cold. I no. Cold is not I uh, Cold I'm not assigned to Cold, I'm assigned to you. So that is mm. you know my circus, my monkeys, but not my problem. If he tries anything, I will deal with it. Yeah, but I got such a cool sword now. <laughs> yes, but I keep leaving it to you, and it's not fair on you. But it's my job, though, isn't it? Hmm? <laughs> it's just not my job. You will look... Look. <laughs> it's Whatever. fine, it's fine. Don't worry. Whatever. How am I supposed to be a knight captain if I can't deal with someone the right way and protect the princess? And there I... If it helps, Karma is completely untouched. So you did a great job. Mm. That I'm thankful for. <sighs> it's been a rough we last few like... weeks. Yeah. Uh, Eric, can we start, like, screening? <laughs> Every new winter that, that comes in, can yeah. we like like background checking if they have a criminal record? We don't let them in like that. If, I feel like we've been too lenient. First chance. I, I offered a suggestion of having all citizens craft you telepasses to be held in a <laughs> secure oh, storage. You, you know what? Good idea. Wait, do you have a telepass to Aspen? No. Cause that was the only thing stopping him from staying alive tonight. Is, I don't think any of us had a telepath to him. I have one to Alva. I have one to you, Haya, Cold, Dal, Kano. And even if Cold had one, I highly doubt he'd give it to any of us, anyways. No. Rain, Hazel, obstructing justice, Quinn, and Marina, but no Aspen. Oh. 
but I have colds. Yeah, so if cold ever becomes an issue, well, I also mm. have colds. If cold becomes an issue, I'm going back to the end. I don't know how. <laughs> I'm joking. Oh, we need um, you here, Max. V Grant. Oh, God, I'm going to have to explain to Alpha. <laughs> Just me one job. She's a knight. She has to learn these things. Is, is there anything else I need to be made aware of? At most, for Aspen, a confession is a confession. I would take it at face value. Cold and virtually, you can't kill someone because you don't like them. Lol. <laughs> <laughs> Not with that attitude. Um, regarding the situation, I think that covers everything. Mm. Um, Unless, yeah. And are you feeling up to being informed of a separate situation? A separate situation. Uh, the meeting we had earlier today. Oh, <laughs> right. <laughs> that. Okay, yeah. so Go I. For it. Just want to inform you of some actions recently um, that have concerned me from your Chancellor Kino. Yesterday, I was asked to come to the portal on the Elven side, and he was there and had shown the portal to Hazel to give us gifts, which is a security breach for the Nether Kingdom. And a safety risk for Hazel herself for her entering the portal could mean a very quick demise if she were to fall into lava or in general of the heat getting to her. And I was later informed today by Ira that he had told her that it is his right to be able to show people the elven side of the nether portal, which I am in firm disagreement of and I feel that does go against the agreement. And then you can share your side of things on because I do have another thing but I think it will tie into yours I'm a little tired I will admit and I know Max probably is too so I apologize I, you're fine I can recount I for things. you if you need me to but I might not recount what accurately we, what are we recounting the argument oh I have perfect memory of, 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 <laughs> of, of I, <laughs> by all I means have, have the floor oh uh, if you um, want I can give like a really G quick TLDR because I do know Annabelle is unwell. Um, so, um, we asked Kano to come meet us in winter because he had brought Hazel to the um, Nether portal, which, as Karma said, that's a big no go because Hazel is four and also will die. Um, you know, basic common sense. Um, and Kanoka or Kano was like, oh well you know it's this it's my right to do this um because he has permission to go there and then he started chatting about how he just wants to teach hazel like the stuff of the world um because there's death around every corner you can fall off a cliff whatever and mm. then he's then he said he liked hanging out with hazel and that she's this like i think it was the word smartest was used i could be wrong mm. but uh, it was a positive word um, adventurous the, curious uh, yes he was very, it was, it was very positive about Hazel, um, saying that he, she, she was the most like smartest, like the quick, uh, no, quickest learner of all the kids he's been teaching, and then he said uh, about uh, Dahlia that the elven heir just wants to sit in her room all day and read books, and he'd wish wishes that she was more adventurous, and then he referred to, uh. Well, he referred to hanging out with Hazel as a job because I said that it is his job to protect her and he said well now I don't want to do it anymore so his work ethic clearly great uh, no no offense I do know he's your advisor but I'm not happy with him right now neither um, am I as his cousin he, he was chatting a lot of shit like there is so many words in, in the dictionary and he, he used all of them to chat mm. so much, but nothing coherent came out. Pretty much his entire argument was Hazel's smart and should be treated as such. Um, the elven child should go outside more. Um, he also questioned my parenting methods. Yeah, that, yeah, and your romantic relationships, which obviously is just not his business, respectfully, considering he was in your kingdom, but you know, that's a whole different thing. Mm. Um, what else? Um, yeah, that's pretty much the gist of it. He was just a massive asshole. Yeah, just moral um, of the conversation is 
Chancellor Kano has very quickly in the past 24 hours been causing issues in regards to this and it's been well, a, a bit demeaning. Uh, like the conversation to me felt very hostile because I had gone to politely inform him that in case it wasn't clear, the portal should not be shown to those outside the authorized list because it's a safety hazard for us and a safety hazard for those who are shown it, which he agreed with and also said that he believes people should have the ability to make their own choices on matters. But those choices don't apply when it comes to breaking my law. And there was also obviously the conversation with Ira that also There's was no hostilities. I'm going to sit down if that's okay. <laughs> Apparently. But now we're good. I just wanted to express concern so you could be aware that in your absence that tensions are rising due to the specifically directed to Chancellor Kano. There's just no end to the drama today, is the? Can I request a pay rise? What? <laughs> oh, don't worry, I was already planning on giving you 20 gold for this whole ordeal. Oh my god. <laughs> Going on a trip. <laughs> also, you're <laughs> off duty tomorrow. Uh, well, no. Someone has to look for Athen. True. Man, what a fashion oh. show, I tell you. How amazing. Mm -hmm. The fashion show was- oh my god, I wait, have my shoulder back. I have my date tomorrow. Yeah, that's why I was- <laughs> Can you sit down? Oh wait, I owe 10 of these to Anna. You had due cause for using your elytra, you are searching for the runaway. Unless Annabelle wants the payment I've, to be paid, I've managed paid, to pay but... the too. I would hope their breach of the Elytra law would be excused as they are helping me under my orders to search. Why is it always winters? I don't know, but I'm starting to think it's... bad. We spoke it into existence with our conversation earlier. Yeah. Thanks also for asking me to be in life. I didn't expect this. <laughs> I was born to be an advisor, not a princess, so... Well, when I was asked to be a knight, there was like three, uh, two other knights at the time. Uh, those two are currently... one's was sacrificed and the other's rogue and has kidnapped an heir, so I don't know. And the other, it's a I current knight, it's now a knight in No. Hmm. I wasn't right expecting now it's only my. Me and Sparrow, and Sparrow as well. <laughs> I, mean. I thought Sparrow was demoted. He's knight in training. Mm -hmm. We should have beheaded instead of demoting. Um. Why would I? Who the frick is Idur? That... What? <laughs> cold? Yeah, it's cold. I'm just gonna jump in this void, I'm calling it. Good thing I took off the dress. There's no way I'd be able to run everywhere in heels. You would look fabulous, dude. So. 
you learn in the end. And again, I don't really wear heels often, so... I like the height they give me. <laughs> when Lindsay Some was younger, she made me wear heels. I got oh. very used to it. I'm 5'1 without heels, so... Um, but... I want to see it at least once. That was fucking attitude. I'm gonna. I mean, I'm not gonna push him into the void, but like, I think that would trespass onto murder territory. <laughs> mm. That's me breaking a law. I think it's in line with the other night. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh... The thing is, there's no, there's no tell way to know if he actually was in another, and that's what irks me. Earlier, mm. um, well, it doesn't matter anymore. He threatened children. Yeah, I'd say yeah, drew I drew the like... line as soon as he mentioned my family. Yeah, I just, I really like how he went for Lucario <laughs> rather than me. It's been to me a missive being like, you should help Lucario. He should see his family. Well, like, he spend some time with them. And then, like, after eight missives of, like, talking about Lillian and Autumn and Willow, he was like, have you seen Lucita today? Well, I am. The end is dangerous. I should all... Hmm? You're fucking ah. telling me the end is dangerous. I know the end is dangerous. Okay, I will read out what protector. Annabelle has written. Falden protector will be dealt with when I am well again. We cannot afford to lose any help right now, no matter how misled they may be. The time being, Carmi may act in my place as Princess Consort if you are feeling up to it. I knew running one kingdom already is a burden, so if you do not feel as if you can handle two, Falden will continue to act in my place until Melody makes herself available. Falden will indeed get a scolding as I do not take kindly to someone insulting my children. Falden has shown that he can take advantage when put in a place of power, but I do not see him as power hungry. The way he grew up from what I saw was rather strict, and I did not know his father to be kind man to me at the least. But I think he can only do what he thinks is best, even if we do not see eye to eye. This emotion will count against him if Karma decides to take up the Elven throne as Princess Consort. To be frank, I do not have anything against taking on, like, I am already your elven princess consort i don't have a problem with stepping in and helping your kingdom the best i can i assuming me and tim circano can at least see eye to eye in some things i am okay with mutually overseeing everything it's just the matter of him blatantly disrespecting a law and saying that it doesn't go with what he aligns with and so he's not going to acknowledge it by insisting that People should be allowed to make their own decisions and go where they please. Well, he didn't say where they please, but should be able to make their own decisions in reference to bringing in the portal room. While I am under a lot of stress maintaining the status of acting high lady, I am married to you and acting as princess consort of the Elven Kingdom is my obligation as well, and I'm willing to fulfill it. I want to apologize for everything the Winter Kingdom subjects have done. I take full responsibility of their actions. But really, this one's kind of on me. Because it was my, it was kind of my job to make sure Cola didn't do any of this again. Also, Aspen was a knight in training, so like it's kind of on me. Yeah. It's still, as such as this sounds, it's still my kingdom. Therefore, it's still my responsibility. In that, with all due respect. Yeah, but not on you.
also I was mistaken on in, in on being passive aggressive about Hadal. Hadal just doesn't want me to die. No. <laughs> I thought <laughs> That's what I said. We love I misread <clears throat> Um I have missives from Annabelle. Um you can punish me punish him as you see fit for the nether portal rule. I would like if my advisor does not die, but whatever do whatever you want to do. Um I well when I was a learned of him doing this and saw him doing it i simply issued him a reminder slash warning in case our laws were not clear regarding it so i don't i am not seeking a punishment regarding him showing the portal um at this point in time if it happens again i will be because due to his conversation today with ira princess ira i'm sorry um it was displayed that he is under the impression that he is allowed to show off the portal um, so I can definitely issue a second reminder, but I'm not sure how much he will take my word as credit since he disregarded it the first time. At this point in time, I'm not seeking punishment for him doing so. I was mainly seeking to reprimand to not have it happen again. I will say with me at least you can drop the title for this compensation. Era is fine. My mind has just been moving quickly and has been skipping some words. It's fine. Don't worry about it. I do it a lot as well. <laughs> when I update the prison law book, Annabelle, because um, he was technically imprisoned, um, I'm adding what the events that transpired afterwards. Do you want me to deliver the prison logbook to your bedroom or leave it in the jail area? Also to Ira, I do not blame me for your people's actions. There is nothing you can do to control their actions. Cola has been dealt with. That is all I care about. Mm. I appreciate it. Is Cola's stuff still within the Elven prison storage? It is. Uh, it should be. Um, I assume we would have approval, Annabelle, for us to release that back to the Winters. Sorry, I zoned out for a moment. Oh. Hmm? oh sorry, I, I just properly read Cola's um, goodbye book. Goodbye uh, book? Yeah, we're gonna have to look for more nether portals. <laughs> <laughs> I love I love our kingdom. Winter strong. Did he make more? Like, are they actually fully made now? The, the exact words were, Hello, it's Cola here, Kingdom Spymaster, working with the master for a few years now. May my soul rest in peace. Bury me with my stuff and go find my last uh, nether portals, lol. But but it has been fun, Estelle. Hope it's going well. Um, Max is getting dread lockpicks and fish more, everyone. Take some time to breathe. Uh, Max, what did uh, Cola have on him? Was there anything like of note that stood out besides the armor we put back? Do we think maybe Hi, when Cola put all his stuff away uh, in that chest, uh, he had a telepath to Aspen by any chance? Let me hold on. I'm just gonna run to check. Cause I know he had a totem, um, which I am stealing. Yeah. Um, Dal gave me an extra totem. Before I left. Yeah. Somehow I keep using up my totems, I don't know how that happens. Gee, I wonder how. It's crazy. I have them in my hand and then they disappear. Mm. Mm hmm Definitely not practicing falling from the highest point to bedrock. No. 
Who would do mm. that? Who indeed, Max? Who indeed? Oh my god, is it? I suppose I have to take this out anyway. Um. Oh, I'm just gonna empty all my stuff into the thing so I can properly see what is colors and what is not colors. Yeah, Annabelle stated, if you don't have anything of value, it can be released back to his ne next of kin, a living relative, or to the winter nights. So. Why is there so many fishing buckets? Or not fishing buckets, more buckets. Are you uh, in the fishing boat? Oh! Oh? <laughs> Ironically, he has the Elven Knight's handbook. Oh, does he now? And the key. Was it given to him so you could learn Elven Law? That is why we gave it to him. <laughs> um, I just don't understand. Um, I understand perfectly. Um, men are stupid. Mm. No offense, Dave Perrier. What? <laughs> That's fine. I would say no offense to myself either, but I am. So. Uh, oh, I had my telepath on. Just very. Dumb. Is that um all we really want to talk about or um, I believe okay. so. I'm just worried they might go for the children. Well, I'll keep a night. Yeah, keep a night with all the kids that were mentioned and have no mercy. If anyone mm -hmm. comes after my child, I'm going to bomb people. Me too. I got gas tears now. I can make end cups with it. Oh, those are fun. <laughs> I've heard. I've heard good things. Um, Florian seems very. Very yeah. enticed by them, so I can Florian only assume. Is, yeah, Florian likes them. Cinder does too, but I haven't caught Cinder possessing any. <laughs> Don't worry, Annabelle. I, I would, I would never bomb uh, Elven. I'd probably bomb Kaya, but only as a silly haha. I'm not on Elven oh, man. No, not, not on Elven. <laughs> I will admit, I just accidentally equipped my elytra trying to move it. I apologize. I've taken that off immediately. I don't think Annabelle's gonna shoot you down. It's fine. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, Lucario's wearing his rings. I, I had it That's on different. to move him. Well, no, no, Another. no, Lucario. I think. Is it? No, he's oh. got mechanical. Oh, right. They were gifted by Lena. <laughs> we all ago. breaking laws today, oh my god. The due cause. At least for the, <laughs> those in this room. For due cause. Others, less justifiable yeah i feel like there's only so much you can justify well this has been okay, eventful okay. and i've done a lot of flying i am merely a miss of the way but i think it's best for me to return to the nether if there is updates on the situation, I would appreciate being informed, and then if I have any information I can share with all of you. I just don't suspect mm -hmm. learning something before the winters regarding their own people. 
Mm. If you hear someone crying really loudly, something has come up. Because it's me. <laughs> I need to check on the others. Um, <sighs> but unless you need me there, do you want me there? safety precaution, I'm going to have your telepath on me. Um, if I fall into mm -hmm. the void, it was great knowing you. Because I'm fucked. Max, I love you. I don't want you to go. <laughs> do you want me to sneak into the end? No, it's okay. Real quick, I can do that, and then if you fall, you can telepass to me to a safe spot. Look, if Cold wants to kill me, um... I'm not I'm... losing you, Max! Well, I, I told you, I I'm taking a... precaution here. I want a pup quiz at my funeral. <laughs> Max. <laughs> it's okay. I'm going Cold? to the end. I have- no, it's well, fine. It's no I have here, significantly Max. better armor than Cold. I can take yeah, but if she knocks, he knocks you into the void, I feel like you forget how much time I spent in the end just chilling at the void. If Still, if the void was going to take me, it case. would have taken me. Just nah. in case I'm doing it. No, it's okay. It's okay. Max, Max. it's not worth. I'll be fine. Just let her no. <laughs> oh. I'm not oh. risking losing you. But then he's gonna think I'm a pussy. Whatever. And? We have Lucida, we have Kaya, we have the Knights Guild. You have There's... Lucida? So having a meeting. We are so- I don't care who- well, I mean, that's out of the question. I'm making that happening no matter what. <laughs> yeah, I need- That's why you can't die. Oh, you're right. I suppose. Okay. If- I'm Cold going to go to the library. To okay. No, don't well, tell him. Oh, okay. Well, it was lovely seeing you guys. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes, I love them. <laughs> <laughs> I can't eat them, but I appreciate it. Oh, wait. I forgot you. Yeah. I appreciate it very so much. So me giving you one earlier was pretty much it. So... No, I can't. We can't eat them. I'm going to teleport to the end portal now. Never. And I am going to hide, but I'm still going to be in the dimension so you can telepass. Okay, well, I'm either going to die or I'm going to have a great time in the end. Keep my. First roll, Annabelle. Um, hopefully, we. Yes. Bren is on the case to hopefully find something for you. Love you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. I wanted to have a nice chill fashion show today. It was, I mean it was. But uh, I wasn't expecting anything after it. It was a humorous fashion show. Uh, the... <laughs> Preceding and following events were stressful for me, so mm. uh, I am going to retire to my lab. I gotta um, go check on like five people that are all hopefully in the same place. <laughs> five people that are gonna want you to explain what happened. Ah, uh, yay. Good luck. Fine. The meeting ended, the princesses were filled in, and it was agreed upon that we were hunting Aspen with the intent to kill. With Annabelle being awake and coherent, Karma took this opportunity to confront Anna about Kano's movements that Karma suspected. And with this, Karma was given some authority within the Elven Kingdom, while Anna recovers. Later that evening, Winter Air Cold, a brother of the criminals, met with Max in the end, where he elected to remove his existence from the world, knowing he already lost one brother, and soon the other would follow. Days later, Aspen agreed to a duel with Captain Max, where only one victor would survive. Oh. You have moved. I do. It's a shame. It's a shame. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Catch you guys next time. Bye.